so at the moment we're on 1700 meter the cable car just leaves there behind us and we need to find like the tour group or however it works out here i'm not sure Time to go up by cable car and then we start our excursion. Really looking forward for this. Thank you. That's the cable car station behind us. And now we're hopping on this small bus to get to the next level. So we're on the top, from now on we're just gonna walk all the way up there. The first meters on our six hour journey. says controlled access area so I reckon that's the point where you're not allowed to pass without any guide and obviously you cannot pass it by car it's an experience something like I've never had before and it's like I've been on volcanoes but this scenery looks different to anything I've seen before this seems to be the steepest part of our climb up. It's pretty exhausting. Really steep high, but then after this, we should be near the summit. Quick stop. He had to refill his water bottle. He feels a bit dizzy for me. It's just like I'm super exhausted, heavily breathing. We are well above the clouds. The clouds are maybe on like 2,000 meters. We are nearly maybe 1,500. We are nearly hitting 3K now. And your body can feel it. We made it to the summit of Mount Etna. Didn't expect that I will be out of breath so heavily. That I can feel the altitude in this way. Not sure if you can hear me in this windy condition. I made a mistake. This is not the actual highest point where we can get. So later on, we'll be hiking through this way. If it is so windy, you can probably not hear a word. You're like on top of this kind of summit area. Some people scream at us, we need to go back. <laughs> Okay, people can scream as much as they want at us. If you want to film a bit, film a bit. I don't think the camera does any justice from what you can see from here. But this is what you get once you're up here. A super unique experience and I would 100% regret it if I have not done this trip here. So, how to descend fast? Let's check. Let's go fast. <laughs> like a moon area apart from that there's not such a volcano but I definitely have to open up my shoes at some point and pull out all the stones 
because it's just like stinging in my socks and this is kind of awkward feeling. Let's see if we get on camera if Sebastian is tracking over. Oh, yes, no. Still got like a ton of stones in my shoes and yeah, it won't get better. I will have to wait. It's not too bad at least. Uh, it gets warmer. It's not so windy anymore up here because we're only on the other side. And still behind me you can see the big crater. And here just a steep descent. And I hope you also enjoy this vlog of me and Sebastian who's just in front of me walking around here. I can just recommend everyone book this trip and if not if you don't have the chance to come to Italy then at least I hope you enjoy this video. Time to empty the shoes so let's see how many stones we can find in there. Proper ice. I don't know how it got here, but there's ice. And a glove come just all the way down. <laughs> Thank you. No worries, man. And long way to go. We came from the top there, slided pretty much all the way down, and now we're in this area, which looks like 100% how I imagine how it looks on the moon. Now have a look here. Walking in this lava field, you need to be pretty careful not to fall down because the rockets are pretty sharp. To tell you a bit about this tour, we booked it on Get Your Guide just a few days before. I'm assuming if it's not like a pandemic going on, you will need to book it like more than just two days before, that you have to book it a bit in advance, otherwise, it might be fully booked this trip quite often um, for the tour itself we paid 40 euros which is quite reasonable you get like your guides here everything is organized pretty well um, but what you have to calculate as well is that the cable car and the truck for it to get up here where the tour actually starts is mandatory so you have to book for another 67 euros it was I think so in total it comes to 107 I will put the link in the description below 100% worth to book it and now we are out to this kind of gated area again just walking here on the edge of this massive crater what you don't want to do is you want to slide here slide down there it will take a while you might break some bones and you have a struggle to get up again. So you should watch your steps. <laughs> so maybe you get a kind of expression almost like that. How narrow it is, how steep it is if you would slide down there. And maybe I put on a time lapse. Super fun this part of the trip. You can just slide down 
have a little adventure if you fall down there are tons of stones like me a few times and you're kind of falling soft so you don't need to worry too much that's this kind of stop here we can just came down from it was actually fun though just on a few meters of this trip already in the distance i can see the cable car station and i'm a bit tired i must say like it's not a super easy tour it is pretty high in attitude you now you're back at the cable car station here but this trip is like literally worth every single dollar you spend on it we are back at the cable car station alive and there's just a small change of schedule so the cable car has stopped for today because we were running a bit late but fortunately we don't need to hike all the way down um, a truck is coming truck or whatsoever it's called here and they will pick us up and then we go to the lower cable car station and finish our trip so I guess that's the truck You're doing this seven days a week when it's it seems. It might happen, yeah, it's like 14 days straight. Yeah. yeah. And of course, you get a bit tired, but you can. can it's good for your health, though. <laughs> yeah. It depends. It depends on the quantity of gas yeah, that, that you that's... take every day. Have you had ever any issue up there that someone fall down in a bad way or? Yeah, uh, up there on the top, it's more about feeling bad, like. I down lower, yeah, sometimes people fall because they are tired when they come back. Ah, oh. it's on. It's on. Also here on the road, you see there are some stones so they just yeah, slip yeah, right yeah. at the end. Once a lady had a bit of headache because of the altitude and didn't continue. Reduce. <laughs> so we want to go on a great trip. <laughs> Best guy ever. What's that? Pietro. Sure. Hmm? Pietro? Pietro? Pietro, the other guy, yes, and Eduardo. And your name was? Salvatore. 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 Typical. Salvatore. Typical. Salvatore. <laughs> Best tour guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot. Man.